Footlicker B, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Asaurus. Uh, first things first, we have a Styracosaurus egg that is ready to hatch. Pop! Oh, he's so cute. She's so cute, Hopper. No, Hopper's a man. So, another addition that should bring them all up to 100%. It absolutely does. If we go to our park info, Super happy Dino is plus 20, but just happy 37. Is there none? I think every single one of them should be above uh, the 50%, right? Or at least above 90%, surely. So I've cleared out all the space up here because we're going to need that space later. There ain't much in the way to go of getting our captured dinosaurs back in at least the the tier ones and tier twos and then we'll we'll clear everyone out and then we'll get the tier threes and tier fours in as well so let's have a look so i want a pachycephalosaurus in here and i want kentrosaurus to go in another exhibit around here although we'll have to sort of flesh out this area Put in some maybe some more toilets and decorations and stuff uh, and i've got a sort of unique pattern going on here this is going to sort of come in a bit it's going to be weird but hey ho it should work and we'll get some benches and stuff over here as well uh toilets i think i'm just going to litter this area with toilets i've not let anyone into the park yet uh, but i think we'll do that at the end of the episode we'll let people in and see where they actually venture to or how far into the park they actually get I mean we do have some extra food and stuff over here we'll get some extra food and toilets along here and then build the exhibits out this way I think so uh, without further ado yeah I think the Pachycephalosaurus wanted rainforests so seismosaur Pachy yeah so it's a medium sized dinosaur 490 feet times 4 is 1960 this is 2000 exactly or close to it so they will fit in here and they need a rainforest biome okay what is it currently it's currently forest so we need some more water let's do that first so let's get some oh there's a ball there is a ball over here rainforest perfect uh well maybe raise up a little bit of the terrain over here not too much we want it to stay in the sort of rainforest area uh, I'll maybe get some more water just down here there we go move it a little further into the rainforest you can get special sort of I think they're like rewards for getting it bang on center in the middle and I think the dinosaurs prefer it if you get that but as long as it's sort of in it's sort of okay for for this for what we are doing so rainforest right what do we need we need a lot of trees we need a lot of bushes and we need rocks okay right so we should be able yeah to grab a lot of these so let's go with some apple trees yeah the apple trees are quite large but we shall grab some of them around the area okay we're into the next day the apple tree small yeah we'll get a couple small apple trees littered around the area there we go it's coming up nicely and uh, what do we want oak large i mean you wouldn't really get an oak tree in a rainforest would you i don't know i'm not a botanist i'll just get some standard oaks as well we'll make it quite an oaky <laughs> oaky and apple-y sort of area Right, now we're on the daffodils, the thuja bush, and the thuja bush small. Right, we're going to go for a couple of quinces. Throw them in around the area. We'll get some in over here. This one might be too far away. We will have to check that out. All right, spin this around. Try and get some other stuff in here yeah there we go we're good for bushes now rocks right i do like these rocks i like placing these rocks in the water because i think it looks kind of cool 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got some large rocks in there as well. Maybe not too much. You've still a place. Yeah, maybe a couple of these. Littered on top, because we've still got beds and things for them to go in. I don't think I've actually left enough room for that. Uh, let's go with the beds first, since they are the largest. Now, we need medium. Yes, it's going to be the rocks. Again. Now, this is a, a castle shelter. Oh, my God. Must have. Can we get the castle shelter in? <laughs> oh, probably can. Uh, spin it around. Do you guys want the castle shelter? No, we'll stick... <laughs> We'll stick with the rocks. So flat rock shelter. Yeah, one there next to that rock. That looks kind of cool. Uh, we'll grab one there. Yep. And another one over here. Excellent. Uh, the litter box. Where can the litter box go? Apparently it can go there. Uh, a couple of mud pits. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do like a mud pit. One can go there as well. We need room for the shower. Where's the shower going to go? It can actually go over there. I'm going to place it right there. Sweet. Right, the rest of the toy. So we'll get a beach ball. We'll get the weird ball on a ball on a stick. Or ball on a rope. Uh, this thing, because they absolutely love that. We'll get a tire over here. Uh, a pumpkin. Uh, we'll get one of these little twirly tree things. We'll place it right there. Awesome. That's going to be perfect for them. Yep, we'll get... They can have a baby, if they so wish to, because there is enough room. Feeders. Let's get a log feeder. We've not used a log feeder in some time. Uh, place the log feeder down there. Sure, why the hell not? Uh, the ball feeder can sort of go in the middle, and we can get the tree stump feeder at the edge here. Now, they're medium dinosaurs, so they are going to need... Uh, bushes. So, bushes, yes. You are also going to be bushes. And you here, my friend, also bushes. Now, privacy grass, last but not least. Yes, I want some over there, some over there, yep. A lot there, quite a, a fair amount there. Fair amount over here as well, yep. Some down there, some in the middle there some over there so that you can actually place privacy grass in the water see this is actually pretty cool I quite like this feature I, I've only just noticed it which is a shame I wish I'd noticed it before yeah maybe some over here some next to the beds yeah that should be enough now Pachycephalosaurus is going in here let's get them in so here is number one. You will go right there. Excellent. Velociraptor. No. Oviraptor. No. 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 Yes. So you can go in there. Kentrosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus number three. Uh, wait for that cage to disappear. And we're good. Right, so all three of them are in. All three of them should be happy. Uh, they'll get food, they'll get enrichment. It looks like the happiness that they had before they were tranquilized and caged sort of carries over. Now, when we go do the next park, we will have to sell all of these dinosaurs because I do not have enough slots. There's only 47 slots. Uh, in fact, I might not have to sell them. We'll see how we get on. But yeah, the Pachycephalosaurus enclosure is ready. Now, I do need someone to come over here and fill this up. Now this one is filled. Uh, what are you, no, you're set for plants. You should be set for bushes. There we go. Excellent. So they are in and we'll get our Kentrosaurus enclosure down over here. So let's get the fence up. All right, so we'll keep it roughly about the same. So up to, right, I need to build that to there. And that to there. I love this wall. This is my new favorite thing. This wall with the glass in it. I need to build that to there. But I need to build this there. And I need to build that right on that edge. And then we need to decide what kind of fence we want to give these guys. Now the Kentros and stuff are not really super aggressive, so we're just gonna give it sort of standard fence. 
I am going to bring it out by one because I'm going to have some benches in here. Yep. Come down there. Uh, maybe a little bit there. And then back on to this. Uh, make sure this is lined up. Yep. Come out there a touch. In fact, come out there quite a lot. Because uh, we're going right over to this edge. So this enclosure might be quite large for the Kentrosaurus, but it's going to be fine. Right, now. What do you want to do here? I kind of want this path. Right, so I want that to go down there. Uh, this to go to about here go across there and then I need a bridge I need a bridge in here okay I am gonna pull this out a section because I'm gonna get some decorations in fact I'm gonna pull this out quite a lot oops my bad a bit of deletion needed and remove that and remove that excellent uh, this bit here looks slightly strange yeah, that's better. Is it better? That's better. Okay, right. And then we'll want you to come down there and then go out uh, this way. Okay, we'll get our decorations, bathrooms and things in the back here. I want to set up this bridge. So in order to set up the bridges, you really have to do something like that and then put the bridge in, <laughs> or it just doesn't work. So buildings, decorations, bridges. What kind of bridge do I want? I just used that one. Let's go with the wooden one. The wooden one is definitely one of my favorites. There we go. So you go. Yeah, you go there. Excellent. Give me path. Nope, that's the wrong colour of path. Do that to there. In fact, do that to there. Do I want to do that to there? Not really. I want to sort of delete this section. Okay, delete it we shall. Yeah, this area here is kind of strange. You know what? I have a plan because I think these guys will have lots of space here I'm gonna extend this out okay right back to the fence so I want some of that to go down there and go down here yep uh, I want some of this to come out that way, come out there. Uh, yeah, come out that way. Oh no, that's too much. That's way too much. Actually, it's not way too much. It was only out by one tail. Right, you come from here. There we go. Okay, get my water back in lest I forget. So you go across there. Oh, no. One more. There we go. That's perfect. So I've mastered the bridges. I've got the bridges literally down to a T. I know exactly how to build them now. You go there. Right click that. Go away. You... Come out to there. You come out here, right? And then we're gonna have that there, that there. A bit of this, and a bit of that. Okay, this is 3,154 feet. So we could probably get something quite large in here. <laughs> Do we want something large in here? I suppose we kind of could. 
Uh, I mean, we'd have to make it desert because I think so. Seven hundred feet is fourteen hundred times two is two thousand eight hundred feet. And you want desert. The problem is, I believe, that there's currently too much. I think there's too much water in here. Okay. Now yeah, we can make this desert. Bring that into there. Bring that into there. Uh, it's a different colour out here, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is a different colour outside. The sand is a different colour. Okay, that's slightly confusing. Right, it says desert. So this amount of water is, is fine. Is it? Oh, wait a minute. This needs to be path as well. Yeah, so it's at desert. We can make it a little bit hilly for them. Okay, so we're getting a desert dinosaur. The plan has changed, okay, right, plan has changed. Uh, I want path. There and there. And then I want a decoration. So <laughs> I'm just gonna put one of these in the park because I've not actually used it yet. And it looks kind of weird. This thing. <laughs> there you go, right in there. Can I actually build benches around that? I don't know. We're about to find out. I actually can. Okay, that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> the little butterfly shade thing. It's kind of weird, but it'll be fine. Right, benches over here, and this is, oh yeah, right, so 2,800, and we've got 3,154, so tons of space, quite literally, there for them. Uh, we need fences, fences is definitely a thing we need. I don't know if this fence is going to be strong enough for a seismosaur. I'll maybe upgrade it. Plexiglass fence. See, this is privacy, no visibility. Uh huh. I don't think these offer any. Privacy high. I don't know how this works actually. <laughs> so privacy, no visibility. Privacy low. Privacy medium. Privacy high. Chain link fence. Let's go with the electric fence. I know Seismosaur doesn't really merit an electric fence. It's not a super aggressive animal, but I think the wooden fence is slightly too flimsy for it. I think it would just absolutely destroy a wooden fence. Absolutely obliterate it within mere seconds. I would imagine that that is a thing that it is absolutely capable of. So you guys have got electric fence, but your carnivores will need it. Okay, what did I put in for my... Yeah, yeah, I put in that fence there, okay. Okay, there's a bone in there. Ah, oh, it's from these guys. <laughs> okay, doors. Let's get the doors on. Let's give them a couple of Space Age doors, because I've not really used the Space Age door on there. Let's 
Right, this is good because this size here is probably roughly about that. So getting other larger exhibits should be fairly easy. Right, now, uh, yep, yeah, trees. Trees, please. There we go. Rocks, desert. Bring up the biome. Alright, so give you a little bit a small touch of hilliness, sort of here and there, there we go. There we go, that's fine. Just so it's not too flat. Uh, privacy grass, no, we shall do that later. Right now we want trees, and I want desert trees, so down at the bottom. Yeah, let's get some coconut trees and stuff in. Oh, here's the weird sort of bent coconut tree. Coconut tree large, absolutely. Coconut tree small. Lots of coconut trees going in here. You get you don't really get coconut trees in the desert, so I'm not sure why. <laughs> couple of these things, in fact, I'll get some in the water. There we go, we're good for coconut trees. Now we need cactus, or cacti. Bunny ears, evergreen shrub. Oh, I'll get a couple of shrubs. I don't think I've ever used the evergreen shrub. Uh, yeah, definitely some of these, because these really make it look like Desert terrain, this type of a cactus. Uh, that one's in the water. This one is too far away from water. I think I can fix that. How is it too far away from water? Because this one isn't. Oh, this bush here is. Okay, well that makes sense. Right, I want some of these as well. That one there might be too far away. We'll find out in just a second if it starts complaining. Right, awesome. Uh, so which one of you guys was too far away? This one? Water tool. Now it says it's good. We've got a lot of bushes. We can always delete it, right? Delete that. Yes. Okay, right, we've got tons of space up here for stuff. We still need rocks, though. Uh, bring up the exhibit again. And let's have a look. So in here, rocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So get like a ton of these. Cluttered all over the place. Remember, you need stuff for enrichment as well. Yeah, these large ones really make it look the part. these large rocks here. Yeah, I think we're good for rocks. You can slow down now. Oh yes, right. Perfect. Right. Shelters. Now they need large shelters. Medium rock shelter for medium dinosaur. Small. The magic crystal shelter. Yeah, I actually want some of these. They are large. <laughs> they are very large. Uh, can I fit another one in? Maybe. Yeah, I can fit another one in there. There you go. <laughs> Whether they're able to use them or no, I've no idea. They might be too close together. Uh, let's get the this over here in the corner. Let's get the shower in. One of these. Uh, yep, one up there. Why the hell not? One over here. Why the hell not? And let's fill the rest of the place up with stuff. So they love that thing, and this thing. 
You always see them playing with that. Uh, let's get a pumpkin, let's get a tire, let's get the partial box, let's get the weird tree thing, get a bone, let's get one of these, a back scratcher, yeah, 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 a back scratcher deployed, and a punching bag, which is quite large actually. Right, now we need to feed them, and they like tower feeders because they're large. For larger soda pods, get one in there, and get another one over the side. Right, so these guys need uh, tree leaves, and we'll grab some tree leaves for you as well, and some tree leaves for you. Right, that's perfect. Theme, well, we'll go for a theme. The castle? Skull tree. Yeah, skull tree inbound. Skull tree can go there. <laughs> Maybe even a mother tree. Since I've got tons of money. Yeah, mother tree can go in the corner there. There you go. <laughs> right, privacy grass. They will absolutely. Right, so the savannah. Privacy grass tail. Let's get some of that in. I want some of that in the water. I don't know why. Now that I've discovered that it can go in water, I'm obsessed with putting privacy tile in the water. Don't know why. I think it just looks really cool. Uh, maybe some over here as well. Some across there. Definitely some in here. Some over there, some there, some there, some over this way, some over that way, some across there, some there, and definitely some up here. Some there as well, and some there. Okay, so we've got our nice desert paddock. Let's get our seismosaurs, Luca. Now, I need to check something. Eggs. Yeah, Seismosaur is an uh, imperfect gem, so they can definitely go in. Which is awesome. Back to the park. Seismosaur. These things are huge as well. Uh, Gertrude is a Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Yeah, look how huge it is. <laughs> they really are massive dinosaurs. Carnotaur, Seismosaur, yep, you need to go in there, my friend. Uh, Dixie is a Gastonia, Edison is a Gastonia, Gastonia, Spinosaurus, Seismosaur, you're going in there. Last but not least, we need to give them a meeting area. There you go, have a little meeting area there. Okay, so they're super happy. This enclosure is, I think, a lot better than the one they were in previously. I think there's maybe too many trees, though. I don't think they can actually walk to this side. I don't think that's going to matter. I think we've got a baby. Yeah, we do. We've got an egg. Hidden away here. With Lone. Lone the Lone Pachycephalosaurus. Welcome, my friend. Go join your mother and father. Info. Parents. Parent is Zane. Blair. I can't click on this other one. Blair, again. Who are you? Zane. Yeah, two years old. Info. Scariness, take down human zero, take down dino zero, damage 1044, DNA parent unknown. But we can see your DNA parents. Where are you, my friend? Are you in the flat rock shelter? I've lost them. Where are you? Ah, oh, you're there. Aha. So who is your... Zane and Blair. What? That can't be right. 
Clarence is a man. Is Blair the girl? Yeah, Blair's the the girl. Okay, that kind of makes sense. We've got another egg here. My God, they are fast at reproducing. <laughs> you do not have to wait very long at all. Right, so at the expense of absolutely annihilating the frame rate, I think we should open the park. Uh, because opening the park will absolutely destroy frame rate. There is no question about it. Let's speed it up. People start to arrive and start walking about and it just becomes an absolute nightmare. Yeah, we're, we're down to like 58 frames there. Just with these people coming in. Now I'm recording this at 4K 60 frames. So anytime it goes below 60, it's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> you really notice the stutter and lag when you go into editing and rendering. We'll see what how they get on. If I stay sort of over here, it seems to be okay. Every, all the dinosaurs seem good. Some of them might get unhappy because their privacy is not that great. Yeah, your privacy is down. Petals. Petals was one of our first ever dinosaurs. Uh, actually, there was one of you. I think it was maybe Ivy. You're stuck, Edison. But if I go away from you, <gasps> there's another dinosaur here. Oh, the Shantungosaurus. The Shantungosaurus has produced offspring. Hello, Mildred. Your lady. And Hopper and Ethel are your mummy and daddy. Aw, oh, that's cute. So these are fully grown now. They are cool. They are different from everything else that's rolling around the park. They do sort of look like carnivores, which is pretty cool as well. Our Shantungosaurus. Right. Is anyone making it up here? Yeah, some people are making it up this way. They're at least making it to the food area. That's good. They can use the desks that should be set up. Food. Fun. Bathroom. Oh, somebody bought a painting. Good man. <laughs> the painting shop is all the way over here, so... That must be a hit. So they are making it all the way down here, so there are enough places for them to sit. Yeah, we're down to like 45 frames a second. So I'm going to pause it there to get frames back up and we are going to end the episode. Yeah, adding people into the park just absolutely kills the game. We do have, however, I can push play here because this won't eat up frames. Another seismosaur. Ida. Welcome, Ida. Have fun with your family and your new home. Awesome. Now they're up to 100% social because there's four of them. Great. But well, we will leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the, the future, then hit the subscribe button. I've been Danny Min, this has been Parkosaurus, and I will catch you later.